Let me just pen you the picture what situation we are forced to suffer. We have less activity to focus our mind on. You can go to work, you can go to gym, you can do team sport, you can travel, you are stuck far from home and can't get home and even don't know when that will be possible. There's no flight. You can go out to restaurant, club, dating, or even socialize. You can go out shopping, and if you do, you have to stay two meters away from each other. You lost your only job. The school is shut. The kids are restless at home. Red of people getting sick and dying is scary. There is no medication for the disease. Depression is setting in slowly. No one has a solution and no one knows when it will end. So in light of all this, how could you stay positive? You know, part of the answer depends on what your thoughts are during crisis. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said it, you became what you think about it all day long. So what do you think about all day long? I give you a few seconds to think about your answer. So the chance is that your thoughts right now are mainly negative thoughts. And who can blame you or blame your mind to think that way? It is easy to think negative because we are only surrounded by negative thinking or negative events and negative negativities. We are bombarded daily with fake news on a scale that never seen before. You don't know who to trust. You are paranoid. Once my therapist tried her best to help me understand that my thought greatly impacted my mood. It shifts my emotion from good to bad or from bad to good. It impacts how I behave. It influences my self-confidence, the healthy risk that I do take or don't take, my feeling of self-worth and self-esteem. And all these are impacted by my thought. In simple words, I am what I am thinking about all day long. Many people have never faced anything like this before and they are frightened. No, rightly so. And if you have even experienced something similar to this before, you are likely to be re-traumatized. You may feel fear, anxiety and confusion. There is a feeling of hopelessness and helplessness setting in and it is fueling your negative thinking like petrol on fire. So what to do to stay positive in this time? It's certainly difficult, but it is not impossible as such. We have defeated pandemic before and we will again defeat it this time. Set yourself a goal. First, let's set ourselves individual goals. And the goal is to avoid feeling hopelessness and helplessness. Because hopelessness gives the feeling that nothing can be done by anyone to make the situation better. We are doomed. It is the end of the end. You know, those kind of feelings. You know what I mean? Let's stop the denial. The truth is that we should accept that the coronavirus crisis is real and it is here. But let's do everything to avoid that feeling that the crisis is so large, that it was so big that we can overcome it. Basically, let's avoid the feeling that the situation is hopeless. On top of the feeling that no one can save the day or no one can save us, we must also avoid the feeling that we have no power to improve our situation or protect ourselves. The feeling of hopelessness to protect yourself may push you into withdrawal mentally or even physically. 
You know, according to psychological research, if you let your feeling of fear, anxiety, and confusion grow unchecked during a crisis, you will most likely to begin to feel hopeless or helpless. If this happens, you will be less motivated and less able to take action that could help you. Taking action during a crisis can help you restore a sense of control and overcome the feeling of hopelessness and helplessness. So help yourself feel empowered and in control of at least you know some part of your life. And that may also reduce the feeling of fear and the feeling of dread. Happy people find good in the world. I know it seems that there is absolutely nothing positive right now in the world. We are forced to stay at home for the survival of our species. Our normal way of living is cancelled, if not put on hold. There is no traveling. No goods coming from other country or no food moving around. We may soon have no food to sustain ourselves. It seems that we are really doomed. People fighting over toilet paper. It is very scary time to be alive for some people. And in time of crisis, there are two things that I try to be good at. And if you are not, please copy me. First, I keep my mind on what I want and of the thing I don't want. And I keep looking for ways to get them. I set myself clear goal and I'm confident that I will accomplish them sooner or later. Secondly, I look for the good in every problem or, or difficulty. And when things go wrong, as they often do, we know that. I said to myself, that's good. And then I said about finding something positive about the situation. What I also know is that if you are looking for something good or positive or beneficial in a person or situation, you will always find it. And while you are looking, you will be more positive and cheerful person. Decide to be happy. Decide to see your life even as glass half full rather than half empty. Now you have a lot of time in your hand. We are forced to stay at home. So spend time with yourself. Check on yourself. Find yourself. Understand yourself. Understand your strength and skill. Do the thing you have always wanted to do at home, but time never allow you to. The book you wanted to write, write it now. The book you want to read, read it now you know ideas you have explored in the past develop it now the movie you wanted to watch watch it now you know cook your favorite food as much as you can and eat them make your favorite dream and drink them you know make sure that you know you party at home small one listen to your favorite music do everything that the situation allows you to be happy. And most importantly, give thanks for the many blessings in your life right now. There are other people out there that are in a worse situation than you. Stop worrying or complaining about the thing you don't have. Remember, in the situation, the authority and everyone else have your best interest in their heart and action. And also, our survival as a human species depends on you to act accordingly. Decide to be cheerful, no matter what happens. Looking on the bright side is most important when things go wrong. It is easy to be cheerful when everything is going according to plan. But when you face unexpected setback and difficulty, that's when you demonstrate to yourself and the world around you, what kind of attitude you really have or what kind of person you really are. And make sure it is a positive one. You know, essentially, you can have a better experience in this time of crisis by harnessing the power of positive 
thinking or positive outlook. I hope it will inspire you to see the good in others and help you to improve your life in this time or in this difficult time. So, how are you coping, my friend? Please could you share with us? I want to hear from you. What are your coping mechanisms or techniques? And please do like this video for me. Share the video for me with your connection, with your friend, with your network. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe now because that will help my channel to grow with the YouTube algorithm. Well, thank you very much for watching and God bless you. And most importantly, stay safe and healthy.